Welcome back guys. Today we have another uh, project. We have a Nintendo Switch with a, a problem with the uh, charging uh, port, but it's not the port, it's not the USB itself. It's the... Uh, I've tested for the shorts. There are no shorts. These, uh, this leads me to believe that the problem is the USB controller IC chip. So we're going to replace that today. The uh, the M92 T36 USB-C power charging control EC chip. And that's the one you see here in the video. So we're going to replace this with a brand new one that I already have ready, prepared. And hopefully that solves our problem. If not, we'll go ahead and dig deeper. So we, uh, I've already uh, added some flux. We're going to start our heat gun and remove that chip. Temperature is temperature is eight forty, and here we go. Hit 40F, by the way. Like and subscribe if you like the video. If you uh, have any questions, you can also contact us. And I'll do my best to help you guys out. I'm going to be using a method here that might help some people out there. And I'll, see, I'll show you, I'll let you guys know what I mean here in a second. So the chip is in place now. What I like to do is grab some some uh, mechanic solder paste, put it on the sides on the edges of the chip here. As you can see in the video, turn on my heating iron, my solder iron. Make sure that it's clean, of course, or well, the best that I can clean it. And then grab the heat gun at the same time. Just do this so that we can solder back those uh, those pins, and it works really good. If you can tell, you can see there. I remove the capacitor, put it back in a second. I will just do this side. We're good. Let's move that capacitor back in place.
back in place. And then remove that extra solder from there. For that, the tip of the soldering iron has to be very well tinned. Maybe add a little more flux. And that looks perfect. That is uh, that side. The other sides look well. Good. And good. Maybe here. We can put a little more solder. Let's do that now. We're just gonna do this pin right here, okay? That one. That should suffice. That looks very good. Everything else looks good, so I'm going to put it back together and I'll be back to show you guys, see if it powers on, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to pause this video for now, be back. All right, guys, so we are back. Replacing the chip the, did fix our issue, so uh, here it is working. I tested it with the game. Everything seems to be working fine. So, um, if you guys have any issues with your Nintendo and it's not powering on, it's not charging, replace that particular chip and it should fix that problem. You may visit us online at wayayeo. That's wayayeo.org. Hit like, hit subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.